how to manage customer issues on monday.com. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can manage your customer issues on monday.com. So let's get into it. Now, monday.com is a simple and easy to use project management software, which enables you to manage projects from any level in any kind of format. You can see over here, I have different workspaces created in monday.com. You can create multiple different workspaces and within a workspace, you have different boards that you can create and to manage customer customer issues or you can run a simple ticketing system on monday.com as well so i have this workspace called sample and i will just name it customer issues now i'm going to use this workspace as a reference for you guys to better understand how you're going to set up your own customer service platform on monday.com so let's get into it now the first thing that you're going to do is you can click on add from templates and there are a few templates that you can use to manage your customer issues such as the sales and crm template so you have customer projects you have crm which is the customer relations management template and if we take a look at this template you can preview it and customize it according to your own personal needs that is one option that you can go for so you can do that if you want to but another better option might be for you to start from scratch and develop your own customer issues board this is their template and these are the boards on the template you can remove and add things as you might feel that would fit your business or not but i'm going to remove this i'm going to start with a basic empty board and show you guys how i'm going to set up my own customer issue management platform so i'm going to click on new board and I'm going to rename this into customer issues. And then I'm going to click on OK, and this will create the empty board so I can get started with it. So you can see this is the board. Now this is the board name, and I can change that as well. This is the main table, and I like to group things by the status of them. So I've created two different sections. First is the open issues, then I have the in progress tickets, and then I can click on add new group, and, I, and then I can create a new group, which I can call finished issues or resolved issues, like so. And then you can add another group called uh, unresolvable issues. And and then af after that, I can add another group, which could be uh, invalid issues. And you can see I have added multiple different groups. Now within these groups, I can create the actual customer issues that I am receiving. I can sync up any other platform to automatically sync up with my monday.com board as well. And you can see over here, you have the colors for each individual group as well. So I have open issues and I can choose the color from these three dots on the left side over here. And I can click on change group color and open issues could be marked up by green and then in progress could be purple. And then I have dark green and then unresolvable issues could be marked. I can mark these all red like so. And then invalid issues could be marked a different color. For example, I'm just going to open this up and I'm gonna choose gray. So after that, I'm going to actually begin adding the tasks or the actual issues or tickets that I'm receiving. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to enter my own actual text which might be so I've added a simple little issue uh, or a task whatever my, I might receive so if you're receiving your issues via email you can enter them over here and I'm going to delete some of the other ones that I don't need and what you can see over here now if I open this up I have the detail of the task I haven't added much detail you can also add a assignee so the assignee could be the person that is going to resolve this issue so instead of adding this as person you can add this as client or customer service provider and then you can also add other fields so instead of having the status which is a column that i don't need so i'm just going to click on delete you're going to add date so dates are pretty important then you're going to add another column and then maybe i want this to be a people column and i can rename this into customer so i have the customer linked by name over here as well or by my name and email and then i also have the service provider then i would have the date of this uh, issue as well then you can add more files as well so you can click on files and use a file attachment option as well so if there are some kind of documentations of the issues people can add those over here as well and that is how simple and easy it is to set up a simple board like this so once i have uh, selected a service provider which i'm going to select as myself then i can move this into the next section and not only this is that you have on your top your main table this is the basic main table but if you click on this plus icon on the right side over here you can choose to add 
have different formats. So you have the basic table, then you can also click on Kanban and add a Kanban view. So you can have your data marked visually like this. So over here we have a column like that. And then you can also add Gantt view charts as well. You can also add timeline charts, cards, forms, and other formats as well. So you can see product is burning on electric connection. And you also have a visual chart in the form of a timeline chart as well as basic dashboards. So this will enable you to visualize all of your data, all of your numeric values and charts are going to be provided in the basic dashboard. So that is how simple and easy it is to set up your own customer service management platform using monday.com. You can easily manage customer issues, not only that, but you can do a lot more with monday.com. If you click on add over here, you can click on new board and let's say these are customer issues for one business. Uh, you can set up your entire business or if you're running multiple businesses and you want to manage manage your CRM for all of them on one account, then you can also do that and create a new workspace on monday.com. Like I have these four different workspaces. So you can create a new workspace on monday.com to resolve the other issues for other businesses over there as well. So that is how simple and easy it is to set up your own customer management platform on monday.com. And not only that, you can see I have added a simple workspace for my bow tie business where I have my research and development, product development and budget and running a entire business is so simplified on monday.com even if i have all of these platforms i can still click on add click on new board and have my crm which would be my customer relations management over here and then i'm going to click on create board and then what I'm going to do is I have this CRM board over here as well. And I can click on change board type as well to change the board type and set up my CRM or my customer issues for this specific business within the specific workspace for this business. And not only this, but you can also click on workflow center on the top right over here to add different integrations to better manage your customer relations. So now if you go into the CRM, you have email marketing, you have other applications, you have MailChimp, you have Gmail, you have Clearbit, Facebook ads. So whatever kind of CRM you are using, you probably will be able to find it over here. And you can also set up multiple different automations. So whenever a ticket is received or a new complaint is received, someone could automatically be assigned to finish or accomplish or deal with that task. And these are all automations you can add on monday.com. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any any social platform then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that I could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and I will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.